what's up everybody I want to do take another little segment on how to drill glass uh, for pretty much the actual drilling not necessarily uh, the start of the drilling creating a little divot within the surface um, that is probably the hardest part of the drilling the most technical but when it comes to actually drilling glass you don't want to be applying any pressure uh, pretty much the weight of the drill is gonna be what pushes the piece through not the actual uh, pressure of you pushing essentially Sorry. Um, so what I have here is the uh, second wind cover. Let's see if I can get a little brighter shot. Cash. Fucking cash scaring some birds. Um, so pretty much, I've already drilled out the majority of this one. Uh, there is a hole, actually, a little hole that's been drilled away, so water can't actually start leaking into the bottom of this. Um, this is very very thick glass. The The cool thing about this glass though, you can actually see how much you've drilled out. It's like a magna magnification kind of uh, glass little area. As you can see these two are completely drilled out. You can see the uh, ex uh, interior where the hole meets from the exterior to the interior of the glass. So that's kind of cool. Um, Again, you just want a little stream of water that's going to deal with the heat and the friction of everything like that. I'm gonna place the eye uh, right here. Might be able to get a better view of things. Yeah, that should be, should be good. Um, again, I just, uh, any real piece that I hold, I pretty much hold it like this. Uh, dealing with fatigue, just get more tired, like, holding it like this, so... I hold my glass like this, and again, we're not applying any pressure. The piece, uh, when successfully drilled out, should literally fall out. There, you shouldn't really be able to push it out. You shouldn't be uh, slamming the uh, front of your drill into the piece that you're drilling, uh, or the glass. You shouldn't be hitting the drill into the glass when you uh, push this little piece out. It's literally just going to fall out. Alright, so... Just the tiniest bit of stream of water helps. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Already water is going in the piece. So this should fall out pretty quickly. Anyways, we're going to commence drilling. No pressure. But we are putting it on full blast. Boom, I didn't even have to push it out. I literally heard some uh, sound changes within the drilling, and I knew the piece was actually out. Alright, here it is. This shit is thick as hell, alright? It's pretty much like the thick, almost the thickness of two of the D-hose attachments, uh, the bottoms of the uh, Johnny... Appleseed hard cider bottles. Um, this is very very thick glass. The other cylinder, uh, glass cylinder that I found, uh, it was much uh, much skinnier than um, the thickness of this. All right. So if I was to actually drill this one, be this uh, being my test piece, uh, my first test piece, I would have taken probably at least four or five hours to drill all the holes out. So I'm glad I used that uh, skinnier piece of glass for the first part. But as you can see. My drill did not hit the back of the piece. Uh, the drill out it was very, very successful. Uh, no cracks or anything, as you can see. Um, there are some scarf scuff marks from the drill bits, uh, you know, scratching the bottom or whatever. But that's just getting the initial circle. So, um, pretty much, actually, you can do some some uh, detective work on this, and you can see that there is a, a lip to this stuff so um, it didn't drill all the way so we have to go back there and let the uh, drill bit grind away the little edges that are within the glass as you can see these are pretty much perfect holes 
this has a little um, lopsidedness to it, so we have to go back and drill those out. And this is uh, just no pressure. That's all it takes, no pressure. A little bit of a more water, I guess. Put it in there. You can see that the drill bit won't go all the way because of those edges are, are stopping it essentially. Alright, see, I wasn't applying any pressure, just the, the sheer weight of the drill can actually just go in there. Just gotta kind of, you know, sweep in and out of it, just making it a, a better circumference, essentially. So, um, this wind cover is pretty much done now, so I'm gonna do a little smoke review. This is another test, um... If the top of this breaks, then I know that glass won't be a, a, a efficient way to create a wind cover, essentially. But um, the holes on the sides of the other, other wind cover that I made, those are just way too close to the uh, to the coals, and they ended up just cracking. They acted as a weak point in a sense, but this is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty thick glass, essentially. Three pretties, all right? It's three pretties of thickness. That's <laughs> quite thick. Um... So hopefully this doesn't crack. This will serve as a kind of a cool um, little added piece to the hookah um, glass. And this this piece is actually a lot taller than the other cylinder. So here it is again. Just apply no pressure. Alright guys, no pressure. Thick glass takes quite some time. Um, when you get down to the end, that's when I mean no pressure. Uh, for pretty much half of this drilling, I put a pretty significant amount of pressure on there. Um, only thing is, thick glass, there's more uh, surface area, so there could be more chances of cracking going on because you are putting a lot more pressure on the beginning and middle parts of the drilling, so a crack can occur at any time. Um, but it's most likely going to happen towards the end of the drilling if you're putting too much pressure. So hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed this. Uh, just drilling any glass is uh, is just important to put no pressure. Okay, um, if if your drill bit is literally just smashing your glass piece after the fact that the piece uh, little circle has came out, you're putting too much pressure. All right, there we go. Nice fireball iPod stand, awesome. Alright guys, anyways, keep on smoking hookah, have a wonderful day.